morning everyone. Well, I'm just about to go out and do some more um, litter picking in the surrounding area. But walking in the countryside first thing in the morning, doesn't that make you feel great? If you don't do it, I urge you to do it. You can hear the birds singing and there's a distinct lack of cars, but it really is a great sensation. What it also allows you to do though is think. And what I'm baffled about this morning is that why so many kids out there are depressed and why kids are worried about what's going on in the world. When we grew up in the morning, we used to have a shower and we used to use a bar of soap. We didn't have a shower, it was in, it, actually in the bath or sometimes in the sink downstairs when we were little people. But we used a bar of soap and after we'd been to the toilet, mum encouraged us to use a bar of soap. There was no plastic throwaway liquid dispensers that ended up in oceans or in the countryside. So I urge you all to go back to soap because I've done it and I've eradicated at least some of the plastic out my life. And when we used to go down for breakfast in the morning, we'd put full fat milk on our Weetabix or on our cereal and lots of sugar. And we were never fat. Oh, it's disgusting. I couldn't do that now. But we used to walk to school alone at the age of six or seven. And we used to have more full fat milk at school in a little bottle, but we were growing. We also used to play a lot in sport and British Bulldog and everything. There was no um, P, C, Brigade stopping us running around and falling over. And we used to rush home through our three TV channels and eventually we got a remote control so we could, it was on a, a cord across the floor so we could change channels without getting up. But we had portable TVs eventually upstairs and my brother used to have to tune his in and I had six push buttons on mine so he was well jealous. But we used to rent our TV from Radio Rentals because we couldn't actually afford to own a TV. And eventually we got a VHS but I was really hacked off because my mate had a, a Betamax so we couldn't actually swap movies even though I didn't have many movies he could borrow anyway because we really couldn't afford it. Okay, but we used to have record players and we used to buy records from the village shop that were a few months old. We couldn't afford to buy new ones. Mum and Dad didn't have credit cards back then. There was no such thing as credit cards. You had to actually use cash. That's the way it was. But we used to use um, our cassettes, to our TDK cassettes to record on our tower systems what was happening on the top 40 on a Sunday. And you get really hacked off and you'd have to get the timing right before the DJ jumped in because that was really, really annoying. But occasionally we'd get a tape stuck and what we'd have to do is try and get the tape out without breaking it and use a pencil to rewind it back in. Okay, if we wanted to make a phone call, we'd go down and pick the phone up. There's only a landline back then, mobiles didn't exist. And the neighbours might be on the other line. Oh, sorry. It was a party line, you shared it with your neighbours. We couldn't afford anything else. Video games, it was that Pong thing. Bong, bong. Tennis, that's all there was. Until Space Invaders eventually changed the world and came out. But we didn't spend all day on Space Invaders. We were out playing. And we used to get dirty. And we used to be full of mud. But we are never ill. And we never, ever got fat. At weekends, we used to go around Grandma and Grandad's and have fizzy pop. Corona bottles. We used to get one pee back for trading the, the glass bottle back. There's no plastic bottles. That's what life was like. We also used to have crisp sandwiches, bread and pork dripping. Okay, imagine going up to Hob, a saucepan full of solidified fat that's used to cook um, um, meal after meal on the Hob and getting a knife and getting that pork fat and spreading it on bread. It was fantastic. It tasted unbelievable. There's no such things as takeaways other than fish and chips and we could only afford them now and again at the beginning. Um, we, we just, you know, never heard of McDonald's. It didn't exist and I'm proud to say now I'm 15 years clean of having McDonald's, Burger King, any American takeaways. Okay? I eat real food every day. I go down to pub now and again and I have the odd fish and chips but very, very rarely. I've never had a ready meal. I've never had a Chinese, a pizza, an Indian. I'm weird, but healthy and weird. Life back then may have been a bit weird, but God, you've never got it so good now. You don't have to get likes. You don't have to be on your phone all day. Okay, we had the same clothes. We had hand-me-downs from your brother, from your, your relatives. We didn't have designer stuff for iPhones, not that they existed. So 
we, you know, just get out there and embrace life because there's so much for you to do. Okay, we never had anything growing up in the 70s. The electric was off three days a week sometimes because that's the way the country was. Okay, so go out there, love life and embrace it and get, make sure you don't throw the litter out the uh, car window because I'm not going to be here forever picking up this shit. So, message for the day, have fun guys.